Hello, McWarriors! How is it going? And welcome to the first episode of a new Rogue Take playthrough. Yes, guys, it's a new playthrough because a new patch has happened. It broke the old save game. We gotta start from scratch, but I'm gonna actually play on the online map for the first time. So, here is what we're gonna be doing, guys. We're gonna choose a pilot and uh, then we're just gonna dive in. By the way, Two side notes real quick. I started the game with the default settings. The only thing I changed is I set the mech salvage options to four. So you gotta have four parts to build a mech. And I started with the Rusty Dan industrial start. Second thing is, my computer broke. My computer broke uh, completely now. Uh, I had a bunch of blue screens of death and it doesn't work anymore. I'm on my laptop currently. I hope everything is working. I tried to recreate my settings and uh, let's see. Let's see if this is working. If there is any problem, please let me know in the comments down below because then I can adjust it. Uh, you know, multiple eyes uh, see more than just two. So anyway, we're gonna start with the pilot. The pilot is gonna be, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, name is gonna be, uh, Clem Sorcerer. I like Sorcerer because I currently I play a Sorcerer in D&D. Let's go with Sorcerer and since it is a not a Sorceress, it's a Sorcerer, I think we're gonna go male here. So it's gonna be he and who's that guy? I know this guy. Is he from like he's from the Mandalorian, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's take a nice picture. Who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be Mr. Bean? I don't think so. No, let's get like a real portrait. <laughs> I like this guy, by the way. But he doesn't look like a sorcerer. Who would? This guy? It's too... I don't know. I don't like the art style, gotta say. Huh. Real quick. This guy could be... Yeah, he's gonna be sorcerer. Name is Rico. Rico Wagner. No. Rico Chanda. Rico Gilmore. Sure, why not? Yeah. I'm here. And this is a female voice. We're gonna change that to. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Ooh, are we going with tax here? We could. <laughs> I'm on the clock. What do you want? You know what? We're gonna go with tax. Why the hell not? So, what is our starting bonus? We usually want gunnery and tactics early on. Tactics specifically so that our sensors make sense to us and we can actually hit enemies. With the no sensor penalty, you get a negative five to hit and that is not great. So, let's try to get gunnery and tactics. This is the most important thing early on. Um, I think, I think I'm gonna go with Canopus because it's good. We also want a starting quirk. Jinxed and Lucky is honestly quite nice. It really gives you evasion and evasion ignore. Evasion and defense? No, wait, what is it again? Ah, it doesn't say here, but something like that. Space, space and honest, no. Tech? Tech is good, man. History, lost tech and bookish. Loner, brave and assassin. You know what, I'm gonna go with Gambler. He is Jinxed and Lucky. He is a, like a wild magic sorcerer. Let's go. Uh, and our starting equipment is going to be random quick cell light mech and gear. We are already jinxed, so we are not taking this again. It doesn't stack. Lucky and military. Random bushwhacker. This is actually quite good as well. Freelancer, reckless and drunk. <sighs> yes. Yes. Yes, I like that. A lot. Are we gonna get all the evasion and evasion ignore quirks? Gladiator? I don't, I don't care about that. Test subject. Neural implants! Oh yeah, for some high-end gear, you now need neural implants. This is a new thing for DNI and enhanced imaging and all of that. You gotta mod yourself. That's cool. Um, mercenary, athletic mech warrior, random advanced unit. Eh, I mean, advanced unit is nice, but I don't want to. Lucky and noble, rare mech. Inheritor, merchant, gives us a lot of sea bills. But who cares about sea bills, right? Random pirate mech. Mm, tempting. Tempting. We get gladiator, neural implants, and pain shunt. Also a random hatchet, man. Oh, this is interesting, guys. It's like really interesting. Should I go with this? I really want to really go freelancer, actually, to get the reckless and drunk. I'm going to show you why. All right, we're going to go with this. So we also get a random hunchback, which might not be bad in the early game. Ooh, so first start of a new campaign. Always super interesting because we're gonna take a look at our max and we got the Loader King. Yes, 
<laughs> the Loader King is an industrial mag. It is basically a roughneck pre-refit to, um, you know, like a like a full battle mag. This comes with an industrial crane, which you can swing in melee for 50 stability damage. Has negative one accuracy and a recoil of three, and has a fixed item that you cannot take away, but it is kind of fun. We also run a super shotgun, which gives us more melee uh, bonus, uh, as well as, you know, 120 damage. So that's like a like an LB20 handheld Bedell with six, no, eight shots internally. No other weapons except for a medium laser, though, but we have some hard points, and we are running all the industrial structure, armor, and the IC engine, so this is a real bad mech, but it makes sense uh, to upgrade those with just any kind of regular armor. So I like the struggle from getting to where we actually want to be. We also have a wedding ball. What the hell is a wedding ball? Holy crap! We have a... Wait, 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 this is a melee urban mech. XL exclamation mark engine. This is a quick sell thing. All right, so let's see. We got an ultralight gyro. We got a core 210, which makes the make relatively fast. We got maximum armor. We have upper spiked. Uh-huh. That gives us charge attack damage. Uh-huh, and less self damage. We got lower melee weapon accuracy, which is insanely good. All right, so we get uh, one accuracy for melee attacks. We get 10% uh, multiplied to physical attack and maximum carry weight. And we have spiked fists, which gives us punch attack damage and multiplier and more accuracy for punch melee attacks. So all of these things here, they don't really synergize. They just give us options. We could either charge or punch or go for a physical attack. We have spectacular. It's an auto cannon, uh, whatever that is. Weapon carries internal ammo, it deals 6 damage, <laughs> no, it shoots 6 times, each for 1 damage, lots of stability damage, by the way, that's pretty good, uh, a recoil of 3 per shot, what the hell, ultralight auto revolver is another salvage miracle from the Cyrus Miles, uh, chopped rug 2, was modified to fire rounds formed in soda, in formed from soda pop cans, really, hardened, uh, to form a penetrating shell and filled with a sticky liquid that's guaranteed to short circuit and gum up any internals it hits. It's a one shot item. It has exactly one shot. We got a rocket, we got industrial TSM, armored cowl, blood spot fire control system for the melee accuracy and initiative, uh, pirate ECM even, and lots of guts. Also, internal items. Kitchen sink. Special melee weapon, use a special slot. Enables physical melee attack. Uh, base damage is 0 0.2 per ton. Not bad, but also not good. Uh, 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 uh. Always destabilizes target on hit. Okay, and attacker on miss. It's a mace. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. And we got a combat shield as well. There we have a little wrecking ball here. <laughs> also, disco laser. Really cool. It's actually a quite dangerous weapon. It deals a lot of damage, as you can see. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's a party cannon. Dudes, we got all, we also got boots that so we can also kick. So we can do any kind of melee attack quite reliably on this guy. Hey, that's insane. That is so insane. I'm already in love. And we also got this here. It's a crosscut, obviously. Yeah, we got another one of these guys with a chainsaw. We got two heavy chainsaws. One on each hand. Also... Yeah, one medium laser, a searchlight. We got a combat shield as well, and a jump booster. And a fire control system melee. Oh my god. This is gonna be insane. All of these items sadly are fixed. We cannot put them on our roughneck, on our loader king. All right, now that that is clear, let's take a look at the barracks and see what we can do here. And I promised you guys I want to take a look at sorcerer here. Because these quirks are they're gonna really mess everything up here. Drunk gives us... Uh, more stability taken, but avoids a panic eject, and we get offensive push accuracy. Uh, we have Jinxed, which gives us evasion gain, and negative one max defense. So we just gain a lot of evasion. Then we got Lucky, which gives us better clustering, jam chance multiplier, and upkeep. Uh, we got the Magistracy Ancestry, and the Reckless gives us evasion ignore and negative one max evasion. So we gain more evasion. We have less defense but we also have like less max evasion but uh, we also ignore evasion so we have a good baseline and the enemies will not run away from us that easily we also got varrock nice solaris gladiator assassin i love it tinker let me see tinker real quick 
Technician is good, Nobility bookish, so she's just there. Scrub. Merchant, Capellan, Mech Warrior, Mobility. Uh, mobility? Nobility. There's Majestic. He's also a gladiator. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna train him directly into piloting. He's gonna be the, the wrecking ball guy. Right? Right. And tactics. Here we go. So that's Majestic. There's Hilt! Oh, I love that character in uh what's it called? Uh, Last Kingdom? Also, Solaris Gladiator, Command Experience. Of course she would have that. Uh and Lucky. Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Hacker? A bookish mech warrior technician, military. I need somebody who's shooting. <laughs> Naive. <laughs> and technician. Alright. So, that, that is what you got, buddy. Alright. So, what are we doing with Sorcerer? Sorcerer wants gunnery and he wants tactics. That's for sure. Let's give him that. And, um... I think Varrock is gonna go to... Another... Like, the crosscut, maybe? Let's go with this. We're gonna melee a lot, so therefore piloting is good. Um... And then I need one more pilot because there's also a hunchback coming. Who do we want on the battlefield? It's gonna be Majestic, it's gonna be Sorcerer and Varrock. The other guys are not getting trained yet. Because Merchant, Melody. Who was killed, right? Yeah, look at that. Ooh, ooh, by the way. <laughs> Before we do anything else here, I should actually check my vehicle base because there's more. Obviously there's more. Uh, we have, A, an urban tank with LRMs. Alright, it's not a real good one, but okay. Another one of those. We got a fire truck. Is this Ivan? It is Ivan! You see Ivan went to firing all the damage or whatever it's saying here. Oh, this is the good one. This is insane, guys. Such a good truck. We gotta make sure that it doesn't get destroyed. And we got a Verbi as well. It is a death trap. Verbi is a flying VTOL in form of an urban mech, but it's lightly armored and it will most likely get destroyed. But it's also a good one. So we need to... I think we need like two tankers and like three or four mech warriors. All right, let's go back to the barracks. Who's gonna be it? All of these guys are tank capable. It's really good. So hacker, what about you? Mech warrior, technician, criminal, merchant, military. Hmm. I think I want to get Scrub as one of the um, tank pilots. So therefore, I'm gonna give him vehicle movement, kind of important, and gunnery. And I think I'll take Hacker as the other guy. Yes, going for a vehicle. There we go. Getting tactics here. Um, and then Hilt. Hilt is gonna be another Mech Warrior Red, but she's really low on starting points. Oh, are we actually playing her? I want Commander. I want a Commander on the battlefield. Gives us Lance Resolve and Morale. It's really handy. Ah, we'll see about it. We'll see about it, guys. All right, so let's take a look at the missions. Let's see if we can actually play something here. I set it for a rating um, based on the planet, not on the pilot and, and land strength. And I think we're going to start with a good old-fashioned battle. Uh, I'm taking the one that gives us 4 out of 19 salvage because we need to get things early on, as early as possible. Before we do, we're going to let one day pass because we're going to get our hunchback. This is the thing that we negotiated for in the early, in the in the picking stage here. This is a 4G. Not the best, but okay. I'll take it. Good old AC20. Why not? Alright guys, you ready to go? I am. This is the first mission of the campaign. Let's go in. And I'll take all the salvage here. Because, again, we need to get some baseline things. We need to get some baseline items. Loader King Hunchback for some... I would say, big metal defense. I need that urban mech, I need to check it out. Um, and then I think I'll take, actually, I take two urban tanks as well as Ivan, the fire truck. Firing all the debuffs, not the damage. So, Sorcerer on the Loader King. I need Majestic, as I was saying, on the wedding ball. Somebody with decent gunnery. Hm. Like Varrock on the hunchback, I guess. And then we have some tank dudes. You go here. Hacker goes here. Actually, Scrub is gonna go on the Ivan, and I'll take Hilt here. Hilt needs to train, that's the important thing. I want her on the battlefield. Alright guys, this is gonna be... Is it gonna be? Do I take the cross card even? I don't know. Physical weapon accuracy and punch accuracy is good if you get to 20 affinity. 
Uh, you don't see it because my camera is in front of it. Mm. Also, I think I want Verbi here. Urban tank, yes or no? Dude, this is difficult. This is so difficult. I think I'm gonna play just like this. Let's deploy. Let us not overcomplicate things. We have a lot of metal on the board, and I think it doesn't matter which metal it is. Um, I think at some point we will probably upgrade, but our upgrades will most likely find their way into our bigger mix, like the Hunchback and like the Loader King. So I was thinking about maybe the crosscut is gonna get better at some point, and then I will run it if it's getting if it's getting a, like a real build. Right now we're still running these industrial armor and uh, structures and um, the engine, which needs to be overridden. And uh, But I think if I find something, I would probably put it into the Loader King first and then uh, build something out of that guy. So Crosscut has very low priority. I don't think that I'm ever going to get to high affinity on that guy. Ever. So we're going to leave it where it is. Let's run some tanks instead. Oh, guys, I'm excited. And I hope that my laptop can actually get everything done here. So again, if anything goes wrong, please let me know. Uh-huh. This was actually quite quick. Command interface all right. Initiated. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we are facing. Okay, everybody. Lance is here. All right. Hey, Frosty. I'll drop here in the back. We have a nighttime mission. Oh, my God. None of us have night vision or anything yet. So we're going to just shoot in random directions and hope that we can hit something. Our crosscut had a searchlight. That we do not run here. <laughs> Alrighty. So there's a guy. It's an urban mag. Receiving you. Right, majestic. Let's go. I probably want to go over here. Into the forest and see if we can shoot something with our disco laser. I guess. I don't care. We gotta hit what we can. Pew pew pew. There's more. I am out of short range missiles. Commando, commando. Good to know. Good to see. Commandos are actually quite scary early on. All right, let's go in. Uh, we're gonna shoot our uh, super shotgun. Again, it's an LBX weapon. It's a spread weapon. Some of these cluster shells will actually hit the target. Oh, that's a problem. So why did I take Verbi? Verbi is running an AC-10 Kaliyama, and I think it's also running precision ammo. Yes, exactly. So it's evasion ignore. It ignores one point of evasion. And I think the Kaliyama has a bonus to range, I believe. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Urban Mech is getting more and more damage. Alrighty. I am out of FR. Yes, Commander. AC-20. If we can get that thing on the battlefield, it would be so good. We gotta think about recoil here, so I'm not gonna fire yet. What now? Urban tank. Okay. Come on, Hilt. Let's go. Here we go. Man, I love splash weapons. Early on, they are king. They are so, Commander. so good. Yes, let's go. Uh, we got a grenade launcher only. No shooting, just run. But Ivan is really cool. Why is Ivan cool? Why am I so obsessed with Ivan? All of you guys who have seen the start of the last stream playthrough on Twitch, they know that these fluid guns are not only regular fluid guns. They fire all the fluid ammo that is uh, in the game. Acid, paint, oil, fire, everything. Am I forgetting anything? I don't know. Probably also, um, I don't know, wiper fluid. Uh, it, it shoot everything, all the debuffs at once, at an enemy. They get massively destabilized, and that is really good. Taking the shot. So grenade launchers don't do much, but they do a little bit. Mando coming in. Yes, Commander. Okay, here's the wedding ball. Roger that. He's now in our cone of sight. We can shoot spectacular, but on we have only one shot. I'm gonna leave it. Target acquired. The disco laser is doing disco stuff. Perfect. And I think we destroyed something. Upper arm. I, by the way, I disabled the combat lock. I like the floaties better because it shows me directly um, 
what I what I can see here. Why are we guarded, by the way? What is going on? This is insane. That is it a is it pilot based or is it mech based? This is good. Oh, we got the combat shield. We got the combat got shield. That's so good, man. So yes, we can now play the fluid gun. Oh yes, look at this. Look at this. Look at his stability bar, guys. It's just getting full because oil slick, inferno, acid, everything's there. Everything. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All the debuffs. As they were saying. Move forward. Get evasion. Ah. Uh, we don't have line of sight. We don't have vision here. I think this is the no sensors debuff, right? It's just a no visuals debuff. And the refire, of course. The big massive recoil of the shotgun. Well, I'm gonna shoot anyway because one cluster and he's knocked. None. None hit. Let's do this. Come on, Irby. Irby Verby. Full speed. No That's a 50% chance. You gotta hit him. Fire. Taking the shot. Yeah, we got him. Beautiful. Chemical laser ammo. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, Urban Mech is down. And he is incapacitated. This is really good for us. Okay, now it's two commandos plus something else. 7% chance, 4%. I'm not gonna run into that recoil. Hey. 16, 11. We better stay in motion here. If I can muster two evasion, I'm gonna take them. And then we're gonna shoot whatever we can. Not bad. Not bad at all. Honestly, these urban tanks early on will probably be very good. Just because we got so many LRMs and there's some inevitability to attacking relentlessly with LRMs. Ooh. What what are you? Grenade and grenade inferno. Pirate SRMs! How's it going? Oh, give it to me, baby. I wanna shoot this guy. Yeah, we're gonna sprint for five evasion. This Verbi is unhittable. Hmm. I hope. Locked on. Good hit there. We got the pirate medium laser destroyed. Solid connection on that one. Receiving you. Fluid gun. Man, we gotta get close. Sure. Copy that. Let's destabilize him yet again. So good, man. I love this weapon. I love this tank. It is insane. Oh, man. Early on, it's just Rex. Again, we gotta make sure that it survives. It doesn't have the greatest armor. Hey, That's a problem. Name, and what are you running there? It's an R2-D2. A Commando yeah. R2-D2. Got it. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is where we go in. With a nice old-fashioned punch attack, a physical weapon attack, kick attack... If we kick, we can also disco laser. So the physical weapon is something like a mace. The punch is way better in terms of damage output. Let's go with that. Roger. My way 27. Way. Gyro crit. Knocked down, huh? Eject. Man, we're gonna get so much good salvage. Good salvage here. Oops. All right. What do you want? What do you want? Let's make some bad decisions. I am I not speak. going to shoot. What's that pick up here? Unit will pick up target. Oh, that's like when you when you have battle armor. Cool. What's up, boss? Hunchback. Let's get in this. Eleven percent. Not worth shooting. But there's more. Yeah, there we go. We found him. Oh god, it's a rocket army. I am so happy that Verbi has so much evasion and we are playing in nighttime right now. That is insane. Okay. Come on, Hilt. Yep. Okay. Get some damage in. Waiting for orders. Um. Sure, why not? On the move. Full speed. 
Let's run and give him the business here. Disco laser! <laughs> I kind of made myself vulnerable to a counter charge attack here, but maybe we can get around it. Uh, do we have somewhere? Do we have direct line of sight somewhere? Unobstructed direct line of sight. We do have it. It might there. result in a stray shot. Let's see what happens. I copy. Yeah, a little bit of stray. Got him inferno though. Got him unsteady. He's not charging us as a result. And he's just randomly shooting. We took 12 Got damage it. from that Nine. missile. I'm on the clock. What do you want? I would say that's a bit much for an SRM-6. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Let's make some bad decisions. 10%? Speed. Not worth it. Receiving you. Uh, the hunchback. Man, we need to get close somehow. And I will also not shoot here. Maybe the mediums. Locking on target. I'm a bit afraid of a stray shot of an AC-20 to my red wedding ball. I'm not gonna take that. Negative damage. Standing by. Uh-huh. So we got Verbi, our mobile scout. Acknowledged. 66%. I love this thing. Oh, that hurt him. Big time. He's also now as uh, unsteady again, which is tremendous for us, especially since we have Hilt still. No unobstructed line aside. I will move and shoot. Let's go. That's a knockdown. That's another pilot injury. We might get fall damage to the center, which will then destroy the mech. Went to the arm. Oh, I can see why people enjoying this line of work. Okay, okay, okay. So Wedding Ball has the problem of also being unsteady quite easily. Uh-huh. Let's go Vigilant. Let's uh, shoot him with everything we got. And we got the Commando. This is going quite well early on. I am black on AC2 so again, we're gonna go for a nice side attack. It gives us a bit, a, a bit of a better hit chance. Missed our AC10 this time. Standing by. Can Ivan? Ivan can do it. Oh my god! Yeah, let's fire. All weapons are go. Again, destabilizing is so good. Brace, got it. So Hunchback was completely irrelevant to this. And our super shotgun, crane running loader king as well. But hey, we got other people. This was basically decided by the tanks. Or the vehicles in general. Very nice. Come on, Majestic. Get him. Overheating. Yeah, it's fine. I just want to finish this. Watch my heat level. AC20? Oh, not in range. Anyway, put her to the front line. Varrock, let's go. And we're done. Receiving you. So since they are unsteady, I think I want to attack them. Gonna get that four evasion going for us. And this is our last shot of the AC10. So yeah, early on this vehicle is okay. Uh, but later on, it just runs out of ammo. We don't have any additional ammo. Just the 10 shots or 8? I don't know. 8 shots of the precision ammo that we got. Ooh, big hit. That's a nice That's a kill. ammo explosion. Mission successful. We made it. The first mission is done. God, and what a mission it was. Pretty good. We actually have some real good options to get some things here. And honestly, I don't even care about the mechs. I just care about their equipment. I would probably say a commando is an early, is a very good early pickup, but we got a solid setup already. You want to get these? Sure, I will accept. There we go. So what we have here is medium rifle, rockets, small chemical lasers, primitive armor. It's not bad. Damage variation of uh, four, recoil of one. 15% jam chance, oh boy. But 11 damage times 7. So it's an SRM-6 that shoots 7 times. Pretty good. And it deals 11 damage. It's a very, very good early game item. But the jam chance is a problem. We have a lot of C3 units. Basic cockpit. Primitive... Uh, 
Primitive stuff can be overridden by basic things, like basic structure. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you, I'm gonna pick that. Uh, acid ammo is insanely good early on. We'll take that as well. Um, basic sensor. And we need a standard fire control system. Let's see what else we got. Random stuff. Got a bunch of Arabi parts, which is nice. A medium rifle, a rocket 20, a small cam laser. We got the pirate SRM. Get out of here, primitive armor. Get out of here, primitive fire control system. Uh, primitive cockpit can go. And yeah, we got some ammo for the rifle as well. Meh. Are we running it? Who knows? We might. <laughs> so guys, this is going to be our first refit. Also, Argo upgrades. We got to talk about Argo upgrades. I'm actually pretty happy that the game runs so smooth, but at the same time, we only faced four enemies. Yeah, by the way, uh, for, for your interest, uh, I've already ordered a new PC, and again, it was just a bunch... Oh, this career is not registered. It cannot participate in the RTO experience. Uh, yes, I'm gonna do that. I hope I can register still. Oh, now that I played the first mission, am I out of the reg registration process? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We'll see about it. Okay, so, here we go. Um, the thing is, we have negative extreme and long-range accuracy. We have negative piloting, no eject, lots of stuff that is not good for us, less sensor range, less sight range, and all of this. It can be overridden with standard stuff. Kapow. Now we have just basic hit chance, which is better than bad hit chance. And the structure here can also be installed. Uh, and now we have lots of tonnage left over. So, that medium rifle can go here on the arm. That pirate SRM can go here. Ah, not quite. I think I run... Hmm. I'll run the rifle, I believe, instead of the laser, uh, of, the, of, the, of the SRM here, because it has more range and we are rather slow. Let's put it in there. Problem is, medium rifle ammo has to be exactly where the rifle is, so we gotta put it into the arm. This is fine. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. We upgraded our our damage output. Small cam laser. We don't have ammo for that, do we? Oh, we do. All right, all right, all right, all right. We also give it the small cam laser ammo. Sure. Okay, so nine days to refit that guy. I just want to make it as good as possible. Um, sure. So, that's the first thing. Let's go ahead and go for the repair and the refit Argo upgrade. Actually, do we? Yes, we do. It's cheap, it's early, it's easy. Okay. And then we play the second mission. I'm excited. Um... Loader King still needs nine days. Currently, we can only repair and refit one mech. Maybe this is too much. Yeah, it's probably too much. Those nine days, they were not really that needed. We could have just played with the with the other things that we had. Let's play another battle in the Tundra. I'm gonna go with all the salvage, because early on, I just need anything. Loader King is under tonnage, but I think this setup is good. We have an, a VTOL Irby. We have the Disco Ball. I'm actually thinking that the Hunchback can be replaced with an urban tank. It might be the better option. Having another LRM spitter. Why the hell not? Let's get Tinker in here. So we have some metal on the front line in form of the Loader King. We have our little wedding ball and then the rest is just vehicles. And again, these LRMs are super, super good early on. Because we will always hit a little bit of damage. And uh, since we have now two of them, we could even play the turtle tactic, wait for them to come to us and just shoot indirectly. Which is lame, I know. I don't like this tactic a lot. I like to play mech versus mech, mano a mano. So let's uh, let's get in. Second mission of the day. The thing that I wanted to talk about is um, I already ordered a new PC because, uh, again, the old one died and uh, it was just a bunch of blue screen of death uh, and the intervals that they occurred were just getting faster and faster and now it's just not starting anymore. Uh, and uh, I, I think it is um, a CPU problem. 
uh, or maybe a hard drive problem, but this PC was already five years old. It was still okay-ish. I think I'm gonna use it as something like a like a tinker PC, just uh, reutilize it. Uh, but I don't have the time to actually rebuild it right now. So therefore, something fresh and new needs to come to life, and uh, I've already ordered it. I hope it works, and I hope it comes quick. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Maybe maybe I'm gonna you're gonna see some ray tracing soon. Not on this game here, but okay. maybe on Mac 5. Two lances! Oh boy! Um, that's a problem. I think I actually need to go and play my indirect firing attempt here. Let's see. I don't have any supports. Oh boy. This could be the end of the campaign. <laughs> really. <laughs> Not kidding you. Early on, overwhelming firepower in form of just a lot of mechs is a problem. And yet again, we only have like eight shots on the AC-10. But there it is. An urban mech. On the high ground. This is a problem! This is a big problem! Let's do this. Oh boy! Why do you do this to me? <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see what we can do. Just oh, they also got a raven! That's cheating! That's so much cheating! So not only are we down a mech already, uh, or tank already, but we also might lose it. Which is bad. AC-10, come on, this Raven needs to go. ECM is really bad here. I can move and shoot for three. Okay, it's the Raven. <laughs> I am not feeling comfortable. There we go. Oh no, you got a Thumper Irby as well? Can I please go home? I want to go home, please. Raven? Oh, we don't have any line of sight, right? Uh, it's a Hunter as well. Alright. I'll shoot whatever I can. This game has to be decided with the mech on the front line somehow. Yeah, no. I mean, we can shoot the medium laser. It's not gonna do anything. Ooh, this mission. It's gonna give us hell. Raven is very, very, very important to go first. What's he running all there? Lots of support items here. Not entirely sure what it is. They also got a Jenner Oxide. Lots of SRMs and LRMs. Swarm LRMs. Of course you would do that. I'm showing minor damage. Um. But it seems like they are not having full lances, right? There's the Hunter. So Raven and Urban Mech. These are my two priorities. Irby because of this big Thumper Cannon. Internal damage, how dare you? Alright. Uh, something just bounced around in here. I think I heard something broke, and I am officially scared. There is ECM. Standing by. We gotta get close. I need to go melee. Okay, Raven, be oh, gone. Yeah. Any hit? Alright, seven damage. Another seven, and another seven, so 21. I'll take it. I'll take it. Also applied a little bit of heat, so that's nice. Turn 14, Jenner yet again. Speaking of inevitability, here it comes. Yeah. They are really eager to destroy my urban tank. So we gotta make a left side twist at this point. Right here. Still staying on the Raven, I guess. I'm there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, let's go. We are also in SRM range now. Let's hope that we hit something. That was a good hit. That's tier two patchwork. Man, that Raven. Hunter is coming. Missiles, yeah. On the wedding ball. Man, I wish I had Ivan here. Ivan would be so good. Got it. So here's my twist. I hope it is going to be enough. 
Did we make him unsteady? Come on. Cool, yeah, we got him. Perfect. Going? That means... Um, I want to stay out of the e ECM, or do I underrun it? Actually, this is better. All right, let's go. With the rockets and everything, fire at the Raven. He's running XL, so side also destruction Excellent is commander. Raven destruction. I am out of FRM. Big miss on Irby. Oh, I think we're going to get the Raven this round. Racing for impact. Somebody is getting knocked. Oh, the urban mech! Of course, artillery type weapon. I'm on the clock. What do you want? What do you want? Let's go. Let's make some bad decisions. Super shotgun, nice. medium rifle. Let's see if I'm sober enough to light He's not running XL, huh? Interesting. Well, who needed salvage anyways? Oh, he's gonna get another turn and I have to stay on target here. Yeah, the internal damage is the crazy one. The scary one. Uh, something just bounced around in here. He's running. That's okay. Yes, Commander. So, at this point, it is melee time. 60%. You know what? I think I want to kick him. If I miss with a physical weapon, I'm going to destabilize myself. It could be a punch. Let's go punch. Heading out. Come on. You're going to get him. 66%. <gasps> Missed. Damn it. I was so hoping that we're gonna get him here. What do you want? There's an Irby on the ground. We have massive recoil right now. I don't know what to do with him yet. Okay, let's get a uh, face shot. Yeah. Didn't want to shoot the Raven because my urban mech is now standing in front of it and I don't want a stray shot with the super shotgun in his back. That's not gonna happen. Hunter is coming. AMS is rattling. Here we go. Wedding for orders. Wedding for orders. Still need to do it, right? Forty-seven percent. I mean, we can take the thump out. He's gonna shoot no matter what this round. He's gonna get up and then shoot again. Forty-seven percent, or I'll go for the Raven somehow, like like this. Ooh, this is a good good position here. This is a pretty good position. I'll take this. Okay. Uh huh. Full Get the Raven out Rattle of the equation. Good. And, and down he goes. AC ten Kaliyama. Yes, a hundred time yes. Let's go for Irby. Let's go for center. I want to get rid of this guy now. Great. Turn 9 is the Jenner. By the way, it's pretty cool. We kept our evasion after the punch and our um, bulwark state. Really good with the combat shield. Alrighty. Uh, I mean, this is just one more thing to do here. LRMs are sadly in minimum range. I can... I cannot go anywhere. Oh, I can go here. Yes, perfect. Alrighty, so let's get Irby out of the way. Nice. This is all about finishing this, and quickly. Man, I really hope we can keep Ivan. If not, that would have been a very, very quick end of this. 66% on the punch. And again, we can kick him, which is maybe the better option here. I will. So I can also shoot. On the move. Nice. Destabilized him. Beautiful. And structure exposed. That's his leg. Pretty good. I like it. And yes, we have follow up. Okay, 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 okay. So I will move over to the flank. Uh, I don't want to shoot him in the back. That's the thing. Might as well just move then. All right. On my way. Okay, let's see if we can hit his leg. We hit, we hit the arm. Oh boy, and he's gonna stabilize himself again. Don't destroy my tank, please. Going for Verbi, which is okay. Will you 
trying to attract my attention or something? Uh-huh. That means we can now... And we should. We can now go in his side. And again, it's gonna be a left side twist here. As much as possible. Fire. Oh wait, we do have a turret on, on the urban tank, right? So we can twist in any direction. I don't have to get the cone inside. That's getting a little bit of a problem here. Standing by. Yeah, so I can twist anywhere I want. Good to know. Affirmative. Affirmative. Get him. We got their foot. Critical hit, Commander. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Ah, uh, sixteen percent is not great, but it is all we got now. Twenty-nine now. Perfect. I'll take it. But he's holding on to life. Well, Alright, we got him unsteady again. If we have the initiative this round, then we're gonna knock him down. Perfect. Yes, please. Going for another leg attempt here. Right? Yeah, the disco laser needs to fire. It's more damage. Missed the kick. Not good. But maybe we get enough damage out on the laser. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Side is down. Come on, please the leg as well. Huh? Huh? No? Oh, but he didn't like that. His Pull initiative is down like crazy yeah, now. Confirmed. So I want to say hi to the hunter already. Big miss. Not great. That's a miss. Maybe that's uh, that's yes, the wrong the wrong idea. That that's a kill. All right. What is the hunter gonna do? That's the big question here. I hope he's coming a bit closer so we can get him into our line of sight. He is. Going for... Yeah, the wedding ball. So since we missed the kick, we destabilized ourselves. Interesting. Solid hits. Hunters have a lot of armor. I mean, a decent amount of armor, I would say. Uh, yet again, that left side left side twist needs to be had. Yeah. On the move. Full Going in. Oh, yeah. Very solid hits, and I love that he is unsettled. That's a negative one to hit on him. Uh, stabilize again. Come on, we need to sprint here. Here we go. All right, let's see what Disco laser. Target locked in. Lots of hits! And we ex uh, dealt extra damage here because of the heat damage that the Disco Lasers deal as well. So 7 base damage plus 4 heat. That resulted in quite a lot of damage. Okay. Last shot on the AC. 72% chance to hit. Come on. Make it happen. The laser! The laser was the last shot. Huh. So, man, man, I really hope we can re-salvage Ivan. If not, we gotta bring the cross guard. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, early on, maybe I was a bit too eager to drop close to them. I mean, not maybe, certainly. Because uh, when, you, when you drop manually, you don't have any spawn protection and the enemies got the alpha strike on me without me being able to get anywhere. How did we get destroyed, even? Doesn't say. The bag was destroyed. So ammo explosion, I believe. Huh? Okay, fine. So you want to get the dagger, the Jenner oxide, and the urban mech parts. I get some engines and predator fire control systems. I will accept that. Again, I don't need mechs early on. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We can also take the thumper artillery. Ah, I mean, this is kind of clear, right? We got all the predators in the world. This gives us night vision, which is insanely good. Sniper sensor. Hmm. Yes, please, maybe. Slick sweet. Can I have all of this, please? Yeah, it's a warfare suite as well. Electronic countermeasures early on are insanely good. Yeah, I'm not gonna take all the predators here. I'm gonna take an EWS. It's rather heavy, but I think we can do with it. 
structure upgrade is all already there. I also need the standard fusion engine. But I think we can get randomly uh, one of them because there are so many here. This is not an issue. So Predator is for the uh, Hunchback. We need that on the Hunchback. And uh, the Loader King. Those are good because night vision, guys. We need that night vision. It helps so much. And then accuracy. Sure. Just accuracy. I want a lot of things here as well. I like the Slick Suite. I like the Sniper Sensor. Again, I need one of these fusion engines. And uh, just weapon systems in general. But we're gonna get some. Let's go. Ugh, three parts of a Hunter, really? I'm happy to see an LRM. Fire control system scatter. Alright, fine. I got the Sniper. Single heat sink cooling. No engine upgrade. Oh boy. Alrighty then. But we also didn't uh, see any of the Ivan parts on the loot table. That means we're gonna keep that thing. That is good, guys. And that was the first episode, guys, of the new playthrough of Rogue Tech. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Especially on the first episode, do me the favor, do it. Leave a comment for the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support... Me doing what I'm doing here, helping out a little bit with the new computer situation. You can drop a super thanks or become a Patreon or whatever. Links are all down below. I hope you have a good day, guys. See you next time. Goodbye. No!